Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and hello everyone. In this video, we're going to learn the first part in subtopic 4.2 called molecular shape. It is important to understand the way molecules are arranged in three-dimensional space. This is because it will affect how the molecule does the chemistry. A theory we can use to analyze molecular geometry is called Vesper theory. So this Vesper stands for valence, shell, electron, pair, repulsion. So Vesper theory is a set of rules that we can use to look at two dimension of molecule and figure out what other molecule will look like in three dimensions. So atoms are surrounded by cloud of negatively charged electrons. And when we have atoms in a molecule like these, these electron clouds will repel each other. So because of these repulsions, a molecule will automatically adopt a particular geometry to allow the atoms to be as far away from each other as possible to keep the energies to be the lowest. So this is how we will predict the molecular shape. Here is the checklist you need to pass before you can actually determine the shape of a molecule. So always starts with a Lewis structure and then you need to count how many electron group present. So for this subtopic, you will check electron group arrangement for on the central atom. But in 4.3, you will need to check for all atoms in order to know the shape of orbital. And lastly, by applying the Vesper theory, you will know the molecular shape. Electron group arrangement can be determined by the number of electron groups around the central atom. There will be three types of electron pairs you need to know. Bonding pair, lone pair, and lone electron. When counting the number group, each of these will be counted as only one. We'll look at it by using example. For bonding pairs, we can have either single or double or triple bond. Let's say we have methane. So methane here got four single bond. So each of these single bond will contribute to only one electron group. So altogether, methane got four electron group. While for carbon dioxide, we have two double bonds. One double bond contribute to one electron group. Two double bond means two electron group. For next case, we have lone pair of water molecule. On the water molecule, we got two single bond contribute to two electron group. Each lone pair contribute to each electron group. So two plus two gonna be four electron group. And then we have ammonia. Ammonia got three single bond together with one lone pair. So three plus one altogether four electron group. For lone electron or the unpaired electron, they will be counted as one. So we have this NO. Look at the lone electron in here. So we have one, two, and three. Altogether, three electron group. Different electron pairs cause different type of repulsions. Hence, you need to know the three types of repulsion might present in your compound. We're going to use the example of four electron group molecule, such as water, ammonia, and methane. For the first repulsions, they are between lone pair electron and lone pair electron in this water molecule. So these combinations give rise to the greatest repulsion as lone pair is highly reactive towards reactions. So greatest repulsion will result in the smallest bond angle between the terminal atoms. Next is repulsion between lone pair and bonding pair electron. So bonding pair has a lower reactivity towards reactions than the lone pair due to the sharing of electrons with the neighboring atom. So we kind of expect the repulsion will cause a little bit less number of bond angle to be compressed. Hence, 107.3 degree in ammonia as compared to 104.5 degree in water molecule. Lastly, the weakest repulsion among all repulsion is between bonding pair and bonding pair electrons because electron in a bond is considered stable therefore bond angle is the largest if you could see here they got 109.5 degree so in conclusions if we could arrange the strength of the electron pair repulsion they will increase from the bonding pair bonding pair electron to lone pair bonding pair electrons to lone pair and lone pair electrons now is the final step where we are going to determine molecular shape by considering the electron group arrangement and electron pair repulsions we have discussed earlier. 
There are basically five basic shapes that originated from molecules that experience only bonding pair bonding pair electron repulsion. If a molecule has two electron group, means there are two terminal atoms surround the central atom. So it will give rise to linear shape with one angle of 180 degree. Next, three electron group with one angle of 120 between bonding pair is known as trigonal planar. For a central atom with four electron group, we call the name of this arrangement as tetrahedral. So they will give rise to 109.5 degree between the bonding pair. For a five electron group, there will be combinations of linear and trigonal planar, which makes up the basic shapes called trigonal bipyramidal. So this shape has resulted two bond angles of 120 and 90 degree. Lastly, the six electron group will give rise to 60 degree bond angle with a shape called octahedral. It will be more than five shapes if we include all the lone pair as part of electron group presence. So let's start to look at some Lewis structure and figure out what are the 3D shapes of those molecules will be. Let's start with these two electron group, beryllium dichloride BeCl2. Note that beryllium here is an exception to octet rule, the incomplete octet, which means it prefers fewer than 8 electrons in its valence shell to achieve stability. There is a pair of electrons in each of these bonds that is shared between the atoms. So the 3D shapes of BeCl2 will look exactly like these. There will be 3 atoms in a row, like a straight line, and we call this linear molecule. For both electron group arrangement and geometry, they will be the same as there is no lone pair present on the central atom that will cause greater repulsions. So what makes this molecule linear is the bond angle between these two bonds is 180 degree. Next, three electron group. Note that since we now have three electron groups around the central atom, means there will be possibility for one of the bonding pair to be replaced with lone pair. So for this example, we have boron trifluoride with boron as the central atom. So boron as central atom is another case of incomplete octet this time around since it is located at group 13, hence three valence electrons comes from the boron and another three comes from the shared electrons with the F atoms. Hence altogether six electrons and they are already stable. The 3D shapes of BF3 will exhibit trigonal planar. There will be three terminal atoms surrounding the boron. That's why they are called trigonal. And then if we look carefully, these atoms are all arranged in a straight plane. So they are called planar. Again, both electron group arrangement and geometry will be the same as there is no lone pair present at boron that will cause greater repulsions. Therefore, the bond angle between these two bonds is 120 degree. Now we are still in the three electron group, but one of the electron groups surrounding the central atom has been replaced with lone pair electrons. So the most plausible structure of NOCl suggests the nitrogen should be the central atom since it is the least electronegative. And there will be double bond between nitrogen and oxygen, single bond between nitrogens and chlorine, and there will be a lone pair on the nitrogen itself. Since nitrogen has three electron groups surrounds it, the arrangement is still the same as in the boron trifluoride, which is a trigonal planar. But as for the three D shapes, it will show only the one with one, NO and NCl. So this one lone pair will replace one of the bond we have seen in previous example. So the combinations of these two, the lone pair and bonding pair, electrons will push the atoms a little bit closer compared to just bonding pair and bonding pair electrons. Hence, a V-shape or sometimes called band geometry is formed with bond angle of less than 120 degree. Four electron group has three different molecular geometry to be exhibited since they got more terminal atoms present. As for the 3D shape of methane, we will have exactly the same shape as the electron group arrangement, which is a tetrahedral, due to the presence of only bonding pair bonding pair electrons. So the bond angle between these two bonds will be 109.5 degree. 
Next, we have ammonia with nitrogen as central atom surrounded by three hydrogen atoms and one lone pair electrons, makes a total of four electron group. The arrangement is still the same as in methane, which is a tetrahedral, but as for the 3D shapes, it will show only the three and H bonds. This one known pair will replace one of the bond in the tetrahedral. So the combinations of lone pair electron on nitrogen and NH bond electron will push the atoms a little bit closer compared to just nitrogen, hydrogen, nitrogen, hydrogen bonds electron. So hence, a trigonal pyramidal geometry is formed. We could see the three hydrogen here will become the base and this one known pair will act as a summit where all these bases are connected. So the bond angle results from these repulsions should be less than 109.5 degree, but specifically for this example, we have 107.3 degree. Water molecule with four electron groups got two lone pair electrons and two bonding pair electrons surrounding the central atom of oxygen. So the arrangement is still the same as in basic shape, which is tetrahedral. But as for the 3D shapes, it will show only the two OH bonds, while another two bond will be replaced by the lone pair electrons. So we've got a number of electrons pair repulsions in this example. There are lone pair lone pair electron repulsions, lone pair bonding pair electron repulsions, and bonding pair bonding pair electron repulsions. Having highly reactive species facing each other will push the atoms even more closer compared to the combinations of lone pair bonding pair electrons we've seen before. Hence, a V-shape or bent geometry is formed with bond angle less than 109.5 degree, but a little, a little more less than the one with only one lone pair which is 104.5 degree. To summarize, the angle between electron pairs in tetrahedral arrangement is 109.5 which could be seen in methane with all bonding pairs. However, the presence of lone pair and bonding pair in molecule increases the repulsions and even more when having more than one lone pair in the molecule. Hence, electron pair repulsions increases from bonding pair bonding pair electron to lone pair bonding pair electrons to lone pair lone pair electrons. Increasing electron pair repulsions will result a decrease in bond angle as shown in this example we have 109.5 to 107.3 to 104.5. Note that 5 electron group shows that central atom will have more than 8 electrons. Therefore, Starting from 5 electron group, central atom will have an exception to octet rule, which is the expanded octet. For a 5 electron group, there will be 4 molecular geometries to be exhibited. The first one will start with PCL5 with all 5 bonding pair electrons surrounding the central atom. It means the 3D shape will be the same as in the electron group arrangement, which is a trigonal bipyramidal due to no extra repulsion caused by the lone pair electrons. The combinations of trigonal planar and linear here could be seen from the three chlorine here that make up the trigonal base and then a linear part where we have two terminal atoms each will become the summit of a triangle base pyramid. Therefore, the name is trigonal bipyramidal. And the bond angle as heated here will be 120 and 90 degree. Next, we have sulfur tetrafluoride with sulfur as central atom surrounded by four fluorine atoms and one lone pair. So five electron groups all together, we're going to have arrangement of trigonal bipyramidal. The 3D shapes of sulfur tetrafluoride will be influenced by the lone pair bonding pair repulsions and bonding pair bonding pair electron repulsions. So the combinations of lone pair on sulfur and electron in SF bond will push the atoms a little bit closer, if you could see here, compared to just SF bonds in here. Hence, a seesaw geometry, also known as distorted tetrahedron, is formed. So the bond angle results from these repulsions are expected to be less than 90 degree in here and less than 120 in here. 
BrF3 contains three bonding pair electrons and two lone pair electrons make up an electron group arrangement of trigonal by pyramidal. So the presence of these two lone pairs on the central atom will cause the greatest repulsions between the bonds resulting a totally different geometry from the electron group arrangement. So the repulsions between lone pair and lone pair electrons in here has made the terminal atoms to align themselves as far apart as possible in T-shaped geometry with bond angle of 90 degree. I3- with one of the iodine become the central atom surrounded by two bonding pair electrons and three lone pair electrons gives the electron group arrangement of trigonal by pyramidal. So due to the repulsions between lone pair electrons from both upper and lower side, the terminal atoms align themselves to be in a straight line plane to minimize the repulsions, which has resulted a linear geometry with 180 degree angle between these bonds. Lastly, six electron group with electron group arrangements of octahedral will have three variations of molecular geometries. SF6 as the first case got all six bonding pair electrons surrounding the central atom, means the 3D shape will be the same as in the electron group arrangement, which is the octahedral. And then the angle between the two bonds is going to be 90 degree. Iodine pentafluoride has electron group arrangement of octahedral due to the presence of five bonding pairs electron and one lone pair electron. So, the greater lone pair bonding pair electron repulsion will push the atoms a little bit closer to finally gives a geometry of square pyramidal. If you could see here, the square base comes from the four fluorine and this one fluorine will be the summit that makes up a pyramid with square base. So, the bond angle resulted is 90 degree. Xenon tetrafluoride is another example of 6 electron group with octahedral arrangement. So Xe is surrounded by 4 bonding pair electron and 2 lone pair electrons. Having highly reactive species, which is the lone pair electron facing each other, will create the greatest electron pair repulsions. So according to Vesper theory, the repulsions between the lone pairs is minimized if they lie on opposite sides of the atom so leaving only the four equatorial pairs as bonding pairs. So this suggests XEF4 geometry to be a square planar with 90 degree angle between the bonds. That's all for molecular shapes. We'll proceed with molecular polarity in the next video. Thank you.